Okay, um, so I forgot to record, so I'm just going to briefly go over that again. Okay, so the zygote is the first cell that's formed after fertilization, and it is a totipotent stem cell, meaning it can become anything. After a few rounds of division, the blastocyst forms, and the cells within the ball of the blastocyst are pluripotent stem cells, meaning they can become any tissue and cell in the body. Um, you can take those pluripotent stem cells and culture them and grow them, and you can also induce them to become different types of cells. So if you have the right proteins, the right factors, you can cause them to become a heart cell or a uh, muscle cell or nerve cell. Within your body, with, um, as that blastocyst, the blastocyst then implants into the uterus and starts developing a small human, um, those stem cells with, will differentiate again into precursor uh, stem cells, um, but still have a certain fate to them. So hematopoietic stem cells, these are stem cells that will become any type of blood cell, uh, but, um, but they can't become a nerve cell at this point. So they've lost some of their um, ability, but they can still differentiate into different types within their tissue. Uh, neural stem cells can become a neuron. Uh, mesenchymal stem cells can become supportive tissues such as bone and cartilage. Okay, so these are called multipotent stem cells. Okay, and what was also mentioned in the video was uh, stem cells um, originally were harvested from unused embryos. Okay, so people who wanted to have in vitro fertilization, you harvest eggs, you harvest sperm, and you mix them together in a test tube, and then you allow those zygotes to divide, and then um, you decide whether or not you're going to implant them into uh, the female's uterus or not. Okay, the ones that you don't implant, you can um, either have them destroyed, you can put them in a freezer, or you can donate them to research. Okay, so. Um, there was some ethical considerations there because some people thought, well, that's unethical because these were supposed to become humans, and so doing research on them shouldn't be allowed. But now there's kind of a workaround, um, and so after they have completely differentiated, you then have a mature adult cells, right? These are now no longer stem cells. These are bone cells or blood cells, you know, red blood cells or neurons. Um, what we've recently uh, been able to do is take a mature adult stem cell and expose it to specific proteins in culture and um, induce it to become a pluripotent stem cell. And so these are called induced pluripotent stem cells. And you can also culture these stem cells, and so now this gets around this ethical consideration. You don't need embryonic stem cells, you can just induce adult stem cells to become, or adult cells to become stem cells, and now you can use those for research instead. But what else this opens up is now you can take any or uh, yeah, any adult stem cell from anyone and then induce it to become a stem cell. And then you can take that stem cell and differentiate it into whatever type of cell you want at that point. So you could grow organs um, for yourself. Let's say if you're going to have a bad heart or um, you could grow your own stem cells for leukemia, uh, stuff like that. Um, but again, the, the science is not quite there, um, but it's getting pretty close. Yeah? Is this possible?